All right, as you can see, what we're going to talk about this time is basically uh, using vertical uh, shifts of sine and cosine. So we start off with this one, pretty basic one, uh, won't be too bad. One thing you do need to realize, this is D. Uh, if we're talking about C, just like before, it would have to be in parentheses. But if you don't see the parentheses, then that 2 right there actually represents our D. So it's going to shift our graph up 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow all the steps that we would normally do. So find the amplitude, uh, the period. 2 pi divided by b, which is 1, so we get 2 pi. Uh, your phase shift, 0 is less than or equal to uh, whatever we're taking the sine or cosine of. We would then solve for x, but there's no solving to be done. And then 2 pi divided by 4, which would be pi halves. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to graph it. This time we will start on 0, not because... We always start on zero, but just because that's the value right there. So we'll say zero, and we'll be at pi halves. We'll be at pi. We'll be at three pi halves. And lastly, we'll be at two pi. So if we were to graph this, since we're graphing positive sine, uh, what our graph would look a little bit like is come up here to a maximum value, go back down to zero, minimum value, and then back up to zero. So that's what our graph would look like if we were just graphing the normal sign. But as you can see right here, uh, we do have a vertical shift. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our values and move them up two. So that's going to put this here, and this one will be up at three. Uh, this will now be up at two, and this will be now at one, and then back up to two. So what the actual graph looks like after we've shifted it is that right there. Now what we're going to do is we'll take a little uh, gander here at one that is cosine. So we'll go through the same process. Amplitude would be the absolute value of 2, which is 2. Period 2 pi divided by b, which is x's coefficient, which is 1. So we get 2 pi. Phase shift in the middle, you're going to put whatever you're taking the sine or cosine of, which in this case is x. We need to solve for x. You can find your divisions by doing your period divided by 4, which would be pi halves. So we get a little something to look like this. Uh, when we graph the original function, it would look like, uh, let's see, we'll label our x-axis, so 0 pi halves, pi, 3 pi halves, and then 2 pi. Again, normally when we're graphing this, uh, what we would have is we would have, uh, since it's positive cosine, we'd start at a maximum value of 2. So we'd start up here, and then we would go to 0, and then negative 2. And back to 0, and then positive 2 again. So our normal graph would look like this. But again, since we're going to shift our graph, it's going to move everything down to. So this will no longer be here, it'll be here. The zero will be down here. We'll have to go down two more to get that value. Back to zero here, and then back there. So now our wave function will look a little. Oops, didn't know where I was going. My hand was in the way. So our graph looked a little something like that. So again, that's one cycle and how to deal with shifting of sine and cosine.